Billy, did you see those Tintin covers that are just Gordon. different novels of H.P. Lovecraft? No, that So it says Tintin amazing. in the shadow over Innsmouth. <laughs> that and, sounds great. And Tintin at the end, they are like, it looks like uh, they were official. Oh, man. But someone painstakingly. Uh, Tintin and, and, the, and the Mountains of Madness, oh, they look fuck. like legit Tintin that. covers. I still have those books. I have. I think I have one of them at my parents' house. The one with the super rad uh, shark whale submarine. Uh, 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 yeah, 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 I know these. Exactly. My favorite. Over here. I wanted to drive Read that ship, yes, I, I gotta replace the two that I lost treasure when I was a kid, but... All right. Fucking sick treasure map, dope. You'd use Tintin tin branded condoms if you could. Oh, what was that? Was that Tintin tin branded con No. Hey man, Snowy doesn't get enough play as far yeah, as dog true. dogs go. He really doesn't. He did a lot of shit in the movie. They're still making a sequel to that, by the way. Yeah, it's been a long time. Well, not making it, but they're like, no, we are going to make it. Like, we promise. We promise we'll make it. And was the one we got Peter Jackson, or is that no, the next No, that one? was Steven Spielberg. Okay, so the next one's Peter Jackson. Yeah, but Peter Jackson's like, I'm busy doing nothing. I'm busy fucking shaving my fucking weird feet. Well, is the Cimmerillion happening? Oh, God, I fucking no. hope not! This is my Cimmerillion right here. That's as much as I can tolerate of that elf shit. Did you guys even watch the last Hobbit movie? I, didn't, I, 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 I watched the first. I didn't watch the second one. I, I watched, watched Zero one. Hobbit. Okay, because the second one is fine, or it's not great, but it's fine because it at least has smog in it. But the third one is is like one of the most disappointing. Like it's on. Do you see that Star Wars? Guy? He was yeah, not I'm moving. trying to figure out what's going on here. He's Star Wars prequels levels. Yoshi Mitsu. Do you one. see this motherfucker? He looks like he's from fucking Mace the Dark Age. What is happening? That's a fucking sword. With no ceremony either. Did they talked about there? it a little bit. Alright, Soul Calibur. He's only level three though. If you're Cherno Yeah! Cherno Alpha oh. Armor. Fuck yeah! Oh! I love it! That's different. Looted? Oh, oh now him. he staggers. Now he staggers! Read the fuck about the travelers. They're heavily armored swordsmen. Okay. No, wait for the actual lore to pop up. What do we do with that? You gotta wait a little bit. We will show it to the dwarves. Oh! oh! Nah. That's a cool ass sword, Come on, man. too. It's not true. Oh, they don't they don't attack the shield. I think you need to be done with the battle before that shit happens. So the traveler killed the soul leader. There you go. There you go. They wear really strong armor, have huge swords, and are one of the toughest enemies we faced. Who are they, and what do they want with us? Mom never mentioned the travelers. I hope we don't have to fight too many Aww. of them. I, so think soul leader. I was hoping for a What's name. What's a soul leader even doing here? I guess he's a type. Well, he's a very special what type because it listed tearful? one of four travelers defeated. Oh, boy, ignore him. It's sort of tough for me to ignore. It reminds me of Eason. It reminds me of Vol oh. uh, Voldemort, that one of Horcrux that was the ring that they had tried really hard to fucking break and was always making that scratching noise. I, uh, like, you're going movies deep past where I, I, I yeah. followed. It's an evil Horcrux. Of course for me. It's, you know, those things that both you guys have all yeah. over the world. What is that again? It's where you hide your soul. If you hide it in seven spots in seven different objects. It becomes very hard to permanently kill you. Yes. As long as one's there, you're still not fully dead. It's the best insurance policy ever. It's really funny that you guys were trying to be ignorant about it. I watched, um... At least... I feel like I've seen at least three of them. Um, why, why that? Different angle, I'm assuming. Yeah. You see that incredibly in-depth... Uh, blog post by one of the developers about how long they spent making that goddamn sequence. Uh, not the sequence, they, the, the mechanics for firing off and recalling the axe. No, but I did see the one about the vines twisting. They yeah. worked on it for like four years. The vine twisting one was amazing. They're like, listen, you know what's actually shitty? When you throw it, if it were to come straight back to you in a straight line, yeah. it would look like the most worst thing ever. Yeah, it would be a fucking garbage ass. It uh, has to curve on a tangent for it to look game. good. Yeah, I can mm -hmm. see that. And there has to be a delay to it and a weight to it and a, whole, a, whole, a lot go. of fuel. It's called juice. Yeah, juice it. 
They also, it also, uh, like, tracks enemies on recall and calculates a flight distance he that will hit the most amount of them. Traps. Red. Chess will trigger traps, huh? I'm strong. You should open up the chest. All right, let's do it. Skeleton. What the hell? No, just the skeleton. No traps. That's so sure daisy poison. That's really good. So, is that it, huh? I love to open up my door and someone's sent me a skelegram. Hello. How do you guys feel about rickety bridges? I like them. You cool. like walking on them? Yeah, I do. Cool. That's shocking to me. Yeah, I know, right? Wait, what is that? Did I miss something? Fuck. Fuck. Yeah, I did. Fuck. Hell yeah, I missed something. Jesus. <laughs> the rest of the area. Hey, man. What up? For a second there, I kind of thought he was non-hostile. Yeah, me too. His frame is in such a role. I feel like you're going to just genocide this race by the end Why? of this. That's fine, That's said a God, It's a God of War game. That will always remain true. At least one race will be genocided. Oh, it sucks for you, bro. Look at this motherfucker standing there just stunlocked by the yeah, child. Yeah, yeah. You mean the child stunlocked you? You gotta go talk to his bug elf boss in the hereafter. I mean, he was yeah. fucking, he was playing Tetris with those bodies outside of the, the light pillar. That's true. Now, can I go this way? No, I cannot. No. You know what happens Wait. when you stack up five Sorry, bodies in a Tetris line? Nothing. Disappears, I thought. They just rot. Yeah, that's true. I don't know. Oh, for some for some reason I thought that looks more like switch operated to me. You have a point. Like, in fact, it looks like, like I move it and then can jump up. Yeah. It's kind of like a Zelda. Oh, did you? What if Zelda had an amazing Zelda. cinematic story? Yeah. Fuck off. That's what. Look at all this shit. God damn. Hello, dead man. We're like dead. Is that a helmet or is that his head? That is a head. And there it go. Uh, not that. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, the guy that was to your left. Look, yeah, look young. Yeah, Matt, Matt, Matt is right. Look at this shit. He's doing it again. Yeah. He says his workshop is up there. But I know, I know. Don't trust the talking ring. Oh, 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 look at that. Look at that convenient shit. Yeah, for all we know, Edvari could be sending you to fucking, like, even worse monster that's nearby. Yeah, it was like, oh, you want to have sex with the, the the creepy sex monster that got Corcus? Speaking of Zelders, and you're like, not really. Um, after fucking Atreus, who backflips off your shoulders into arrow shots, that end of Wind Waker is a little less impressive. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Considering that's a combo filler in this game? Uh... Oh, Atreus. That's is he it. hugging Kratos right now? It doesn't count. It, it does not. There's plausible deniability there. It's not love. Oh. That shit rocked my world when it happened. Yeah. Oh, yes, this does look, in fact, like a dwarf. Oh, hey, man. Oh! What happened there? Uh, it was red, so I couldn't... Uh, so... Does he, uh, when you switch arrow types, does he switch from saying Lista to Liosta? Is that, is that what happens? Let's find out. Oh, I don't like him at all. Oh, shit. You know what? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, man. That's just the best. Wow. You know what? Him calling out behind me is actually really helpful. Well, I mean, Treyas did it too, but, uh... Whoa! Did you just get teleported. Sure did. What the fuck? Let's go the dust. Yeah, like, I thought I'm you were blinded. dying for a second. Oh, blind is a status of it. Okay. The screen's not flashing red, but like, 
that like um, slightly monochromatic. Wow. Uh, How long does this last? I don't know. Geez, wait, no, it's about it's about to go away. Moment makes you think you're about to die. There's a cooldown meter for it. Now it's back again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's the guy. It's that arrow. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Good, good, good about ambush. That worked out. Oh, wow. He is... Finally. He's at, like, zero. Oh, he just disintegrated. You didn't switch arrow types back, right? I think so. So he said... Whoa. Create a small defensive zone that prevents Kratos' attacks from being interrupted. And there's the damage. No. That's right. Oh, so I currently have this. But I could have this. And it's way worse. But it has an enchantment socket. Hmm. Let's see, when we get back to Brock, let me uh, remind me to uh, see what upgrades with that. Mark. Dark Elf Lord. Very tough Dark Elf Lord. Did I say Bork? No, you, you said Brock. Okay. I said Bork. Okay. I got Wow, well, we fucked that workshop up really bad. Boy. There's nothing left. Father, please, just listen. Invari's crew did something bad here. He's glad you destroyed his lab. And he's sorry he kept trying to trick us. His hammer is just through this gate. Very bad. Did something very bad. They probably created some kind of nefarious mythical shit. Oh boy, open the gate. Open the gate. I can't jump up there. Open the gate. Only a child can, can pull that long. Yeah, I, is, I just realized I don't think there's any possible way to get through that area without annihilating that, yes, that lab. Read read the shit, boy. You see the fucking thing just okay. teleport in front of him? That's going in the journal. What I get? What I got? Oh, I got a lore. How wonderful. Proving an ancient soul and domesticating it as a beast of burden was surprisingly easy. Followed my every command and appeared to possess no free will, no sense of preservation, or even hunger. Well, not until it turned poor Lit into ashes. Not even his soul remained. Lack of their own must be what drives them to immolate the souls of others. My soul eaters are an abomination. Several were sent to Musulfine at the request of Surtur. And he will use them for, I shudder, consider. Another to Motsoknir at Konzingar. That fool can burn for all I care. My immediate concern is the dwarves in the Volunder mines. I pray I am not too late to undo my mistake. Yeah, you know what? Usually anything can be called an abomination if you name it the Soul Eaters. What's it do? Oh, it eats souls. Oh, that's an abomination. Is it? Oh, I don't know. Actually, it's just a broom. Yeah. It kills the souls hammer. of dirt. Invari says thank you. We just the got point? a super dope hammer. But, like, is it a weapon? No, but we'll give it to Brock, and he'll, he'll like, shine it's a up our, our, our item. wiener. Yeah, he'll spit on the axe, and then all the hammer's powers will transfer something. Bro. Oh. Dude, come on. Let's go. Where'd he go? In the ground, most likely. Yeah, that's where he goes. And body is a very Tolkien-esque name. It sure is. Mm. I was just thinking that. Yeah. Does he be all... Like, picture Hugo Weaving saying it. Slowly. Oh, okay. okay. Oh. Wait. Oh, there you go. I think that might be my favorite one. Looks very nice. Because of all your tireless efforts, Mr. Suzuki, we have instituted the first League of Seal Clubbing. You are the president. <laughs> The Suzuki Seal Club League begins now, and it's and they they live show, on ESPN, live on Sci-Fi, and, and it's not a club; it's a giant mace, and the head of the mace looks like it David Suzuki's, Suzuki's face. <laughs> so, the last thing upon death that the seal see will be the nature of things. Live from you the, find the that Nature hammer, Channel. Are you too busy looting every Animal hole and cranny? Yeah. Here, the Alchemist Hammer. His spirit is a nuisance. Yeah. Anvari always was an asshole. As opposed to Hell you. Hell of an alchemist, though. Hand him over here and I'll melt him down. What? You're going to melt down your friend? A trapped soul's what I need to give your reward some extra oomph. Say yes to you this. You want it? Father, we can't do that. Never mind what Atreus says. Here, you hold on to him. He's really useful, I promise. <sighs> Fine. Damn it. So long as he proves his worth. Don't get a hammer now. Very high perk activation 
chance to get a bit of a softy yeah uh, help her something well he'll grow out that's really specific that's very specific. could you take a look Hicks. at this so he's Malachi. it's like oh you didn't casually turn this person into a weapon forever <laughs> hey man we're playing tokyo mirage sessions here uh, he wasn't Jesus. very helpful at first something about seeing that dead soul leader in the land just through their minds made him realize he was being kind of a jerk he feels guilty because he and some other doors are experimenting with agents there and they accidentally created soul leaders glad we don't have to fight them anymore Anyway, Soul's still trapped in the ring. Brock wanted to melt him down. He's so mean sometimes. But I convinced Father to keep him, and now he's part of our group. Father even uses Anvari's soul as an enchantment sometimes. Must be hard being trapped in a piece of jewelry. But Anvari doesn't complain too much. I've gotten pretty good at ignoring him. Remember how this game started with Kratos trying to control his anger and thinking that his boy should probably not go down the same path? Yeah. 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 So you he should run afoul of some travelers. Yeah. Or them travelers ran afoul of you more like. Who are they? What do they want? Dunno! Oh, you ask a lot of questions. You're, you, so far. You were, you were talking to us! Well, let's get to So it. far, his reluctance to the to the softness is... Advari oh, being in that interesting, ring but, um, is a fucking Black Mirror episode. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah okay. it is. But he's, he is being, but Kratos is being convinced to let the softness... Ooh, Are you seeing this shit? Look at that I'm Triple seeing, H one. Look at that. But the strength goes down. So, I got Smoldering Embers from Musalfime, which is why, why this shit is super dope. Musalfime stuff is endgame stuff, and Traveler stuff is dope also, but as you can see. The strength goes down. Yeah, but your bit goes way up, and you need Traveler Shards. You need more luck. And then we got, uh, what am I even wearing right now? Is this Pauldron? What the fuck am I- Whatever you're wearing, it's gonna be shit compared to Zendaya. Zendaya? Yeah. Yeah. On, what am I man. fucking wearing right now? Give Zidania a sword, you cowards. <laughs> metal plated shield. Someone give this woman metal a shield. Wrist guard. Okay, I'm, I'm wearing the metal plated sure, set, I'm which is a level three set. That's my Mary Jane right there. The one that's a battle goddess. So, Pauldron <laughs> of the Ancients up is better, but it makes attack go down. But oh the no. Strength goes but down. the strength goes down. Let's upgrade the boy instead. Knife goes in, Gus goes yeah, I'm like, I'm like, you could just fucking hit a beat on that shit. Oh man, we can't even upgrade this fucking thing yet, Jesus. Okay. And the then... the strength goes down. Is this something I could upgrade or buy? It's like oh. when the beat drops. But the strength goes down. The Muselheim... <laughs> the Muselheim Eye of Power. The strength goes down. I see. Alright, well you do that, I have to go pee real quick. Oh, and you can now... Uh, we can now buy... Spark Diamond Steel. Look at this dope shit. Look at all these items. Will the strength go up? No. Strength no. Down. No. 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 The, the smoldering brimstone battle belt would make the strength go up. It smolders. Oh man. Oh, oh man. Oh. 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 See now that the strength makes goes the strength up. go up. But the luck goes down. I hate you. I hate you a lot right now. <laughs> it's very bad. It's very bad to listen to, and I don't like it. Uh, hi, Perka. And then, da, 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 da. yeah, why not? Way to grip of restoration. Nothing drastic happening at this point in time. Yeah, honestly, there's very little I can You're, upgrade it's, it's or blood, do. It's bloodboarding it. Yeah. Uh, at some point, I'll be able to get a generic blue set that will be better, but right now what's doing it's doing me just fine. And the fact that numbers don't point out of every swing yeah. uh, means you don't have to think about it. But here's the thing. What here's what really matter. You ready? Let's upgrade the boy. Increases arrow damage and makes new skills available for purchase. But the boy goes down. What? Oh, have you even noticed? I didn't notice until just now that his, his bow looks completely different. It's now a fucking mythical viking bow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking dope. What more you and need. the quiver will wait, obviously. Oh, it's not recurved, pleasure. though. Now fuck right along. You fuck right along, motherfucker. Like those Mongolians. Let's find out what the level five ability is. Light arrows, explosions, and fic and fict. Nailed you it. You can. You can try again. Can I? No. Oh. I hope Matt doesn't fall in the toilet. That'd be aw That'd be awkward. His strength goes down. Might as well fast travel back instead of crawling back out. His strength go down when he fall in the toilet. Big down. Ah! 
you hear that? That was not loud at all. You really. I'm a jumpy guy, man. You oversold that. Hey, man. Hey, I don't sell nothing. I ain't yeah. selling shit. You gentlemen certainly know how to get around. Like hair creams. So. <laughs> I'm gonna to start go slapping your fucking balls. Are you saying he's trying to get to Yodenheim? So make sure that Willie uh, isn't farting in excitement when you do it. Oh, yeah. But then I'll get fucking farts on the ball sweat. Well, that's that just never comes out. And then your strength <laughs> goes down. Yeah, strength will way down. Willie, I'm gonna give you two options. Where do you want your strength to go? <laughs> that's crazy. Except for one thing. You are headed for Jotunheim, so he was right. I'm so confused. Well then, clearly you've been listening. Back in, there we go. Hey Matt, that is very appreciated. People at home can't tell, but he turned the yeah, lights off. I mean, up. it like it was getting real fucking magic porn for a minute there. So what's up with you and the magic porn? You got a problem? Not magic. It only porn. happens. It only porn. Ah. Like Magitech, which you guys always like. I talking. fucking love oh, like Magitech. Ma the Magitech engines? They're the dopest shit that ever was. Magitech engines are the shit. No. They I didn't even know what they to are. call them I when agree. I first saw them in Lost Odyssey. And then when I saw them again in FF15, I was like, fuck yeah, that's like, cool. This is my favorite. <gasps> Wait, I had something that make the strength go. Oh, but it's not as good. Oh, no. Strength stays the same. But the luck go down. Oh, no, not my luck go down. If I see you do anything that lowers luck. I'm lucky if I can get any luck to go right. out. Alright. Gang, I'm gonna ask you to remember something very important for me. When we stopped off the right side of the bridge, we started right in front of us. Okay. We are now at Lookout Tower. What do you do at this tower? Bake cheese. Lookout. Bake cheese? Do you bake a fuck cheese? Like, like Haloom? Yeah, that sure. shit's delicious. I was waiting for someone to say we looked out. Haloom is great. See, that's the thing. Of course, you expect us to say we look out. As that is so then you got like, oh, I can really switch it up by talking about cheese. Yeah, I'm I, I, I'm, I, and I just want some cheese. I had some good. Oh, fuck off! Oh, yeah. Oh, Kratos is like, I can take it. Like, again, spikes are just like, they're not, they're just spiritually a kill. They don't even really hurt. Morally, they're a When you softly they're a touch them. They're moral. Like, you could very softly climb over those. Well, look at that! Softly. Whatever that is! You know, I'm gonna say if it was a regular person, like, oh, fucking Lester the Unlikely or something. Oh my god, that he, game. He's gonna shit his pants, but Kratos... God. I think you can climb over that. Fuck that game. Even like classic, classic <gasps> Prince of Persia had that button that you'd let you walk through spikes. So I rented Lester the Unlikely. Back Shut up, you did. I did too. And I remember specifically playing it and being like, this was awful. He has to crawl over like basic steps. It was really annoying. It's quite poor. Very bad. And then you fast forward uh, using cheats uh, to the end of the game. And he's suddenly we competent and he's like standing this. upright and he's being like a cool hero guy. Really? So he the, actually becomes a hero? Yes! You didn't know that? The whole, That's point. The whole point is I that. I thought you were a coward forever and then in the last screen he's like, yeah, now nah, I did. So it. you gradually over the course of the game become more confident and in the last stage you're jumping over shit and being super you're cool. You're being a Prince of Persia man. But. But but the journey to not being shit is, is shit is, is shit too long. and I couldn't take it so I just fucking stopped. Well, he couldn't handle it. But I did cheat. This is a cool little puzzle area. I like this. Let's jump over here. It reminds me of uh, Lester the Unlikely. Yeah, does it? Kratos the Unlikely. Like you see, there's like a sidewalk raise, and he has to crawl on hands and knees to get up on top of it. That wow. reminds me of what baby Kratos looks like, and it's fucking hilarious. Cause he looks like a, a tiny freakazoid with a giant From head. the cutscenes in the game? In the yeah. PlayStation? In the PSP game? Hell yeah. He looks, uh... Wow, you start all the way back no, there. He, huh? he looks awful. He just looked like a bully from your class. He, like, he look, just looked like, like a shaved head mean kid. Oh, that's where that go! Demos looks go more normal, but he just had that weird scar. Oh. Or tattoo or whatever the fuck it was, but it was glowing on him. Yeah. Oh, come on, guy. Well, that, that thing didn't do a very good job. So this used to be the... I guess Nista's gone for oh. That was a gross noise. Gotcha. A little bit. 
All right. Now, if I this used to be the boat dock. If I do, I'm not allowed. I'm no longer allowed to go down there. Well, you know what is allowed to go down? What's that? Your strength? Shit. It's actually really not allowed to go down in this LP. I found a new boat dock. I think you just got near it. Oh! I was expecting that. That was a drop. I oh. Oh, there was oh, there was a thing. Okay, look at that. It totally worked. Off we go, Atreus. Hey, you notice he's not. We're not telling stories anymore. Well, a little bit. Yeah, you like you just pushed off. Yeah. You notice that they're not telling stories. Do you, do you even have a goal right now? Uh, my goal is that was where I went. My goal currently is to hit the lake I so that. Odin and Frey were ever yeah. Love and hate are more closely intertwined than you might imagine. For instance, Odin hates the giants and they him. But Thor's own mother was the giantess Fjorgun, one of Odin's great loves. So Thor's half god and half giant? Where? Once Fjorgun was gone, lonely ages passed. And as war with the Vanir. Of... Where's this fucking go? Wait, no, where's that go? Which got it. Got age, I could see what they really wanted in this bluster. And after no small amount of convincing, they are agreed. It's a bluster. For a while there, bluster? he really turned on oh, the charm. Like, he seemed happy. He seemed upset. interested I'm all in bluster. making her happy. He granted us so many wishes, I can scarcely recall them all. The peace held, and I truly believed all had worked out better than I could have planned. But Odin's true face showed itself again in the end. Oh, he won Freya's trust, and she taught him some of her Vanir magic, another choice she would live to bitterly regret. Sadly, despite his wise counselor's best efforts to persuade him that peace was the only true path to stave off Ragnarok, Odin never let go of his obsession with Jotunheim. The taste of Vanir magic led him to new forms of experimentation and new levels of depravity. Jeez. So, well, I, Thanks, totally, I totally get it. There's a story happening and the game just got paused. But he does need to be like going in a direction and not be going in circles <laughs> while the like, story Like, dude, if, if I had fucking gone down that path, we would have gone all the way to the witch's cave and it would have been like, Roy. fuck, Pat. Why are you so dumb dums? Sir. Hey, it's another map. Thanks, whatever, kid. And someone asked me, like, man, how are you colorblind? And I'm like, oh god, what did I do? What did I miss? <laughs> right? Oh, that's so good! What? The, the fact that it just came out there? Yeah, man! And, and I'm like, no, what I do? And they're like, well, you keep calling red pots and shit in this God of War LP. You keep calling them green, hit the green pots. Hit the green pots. Oh, oh, God, you... And I'm like... I know what that is. And I'm like, oh, right, right, right. So, yeah, I explained the whole... Um, you see this shit? Bullet storm thing. What is that? You know this. The exploding barrels are, that are didn't green? Take. Yes. In Bulletstorm, the exploding barrels were green. Yeah, you can't do that. And uh, every fo they ran focus tests on this, and all sorts of shit. And no matter how many times they tutorialized it, people would not shoot green barrels. It's two and eight. It's just two and eight. Green is not explosion. Green is life. It or like acid. I'd shoot a green barrel, because I'd be like, does it shoot acid? Yeah. Well, here's the thing. Borderlands does have that. Well, here's the thing. You have two bars on the screen. One is red and one is green. Which one's your life? Red. Uh, green. <laughs> red. Uh, if it's Dark Souls, it's red. Well, that, that, red. that's the fucking problem now, if, isn't it? If, if the game has the concept of stamina. And that, and so game design on the 101 is like, that clarity needs to never come into question. Well, like, for a long time, classic Street Fighter yeah. health was yellow. And then the color changes as it disappears. The, the negative space becomes red. Yeah. As opposed to black in some See how cool that is? It is very cool. I love it. Well, more arrows next time you can get right? And in Zelda games, you have hearts. So you don't have a life bar. That's red. Like, it's, 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 it's fucking, it's, it's a whole, like, there's a whole well, philosophy. The ultimate oh, here is you asked me, hey, Pat, or you asked actually both of us, hey, guys, what color is your life bar? And I said red, and that life bar in this game is green. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> that's what, that's why I said green, because that's what I'm looking at right now. 
So making a red barrel or, uh, not explode. But when you take damage, it's usually shown by red. Yeah. Too. That's a red damage. Yeah. Like either be in Gears of War jelly or just like a red haze. Or on your shit. And I mean, like, I, I remember, like, I was I was making fun of the start to crate thing, right? I, I, in a, a tweet somewhere. And um, a friend of mine that's like, she's uh, she plays like CSGO and stuff, big esports, yep. is, is was talking about, like, actually, crates have a very important role in video games. And I was like, do. what are we missing here? This is, we're not having I the tried. same conversation. And she pointed out that it's like, yeah, in, in those games and in first person shooters, a crate represents, like, the height of the player. And it means if you're standing in front of it, no one can see above to know that you're ah. there, right? So like, it's like it, it's become to represent that. And I'm like, oh, because in single player games and all kinds of other uncreative bullshit, it's just the thing that items go into when you have no creativity. Mm, it's true. You know, it, it's it's weird, but like, I can't think but of any first person shooters. I expect crates. But are there any games where a red barrel means something else completely? You know. Donkey Kong, you throw barrels and you jump over They're them, none of I them guess. Are red. But the only ones that explode are ones that say TNT on them. It's dynamite. You know what a really good damage indicator is? Remember Mushroom Men? Think of the, the game? Yeah. This uh, looks like I have to get it over there from another side, because I don't see anything that yeah. I can fucking blow up here. Uh, Mushroom Men, I did, a, I did a video on my channel where I'm like, oh, right, I remember this. Uh, there's no numbers or anything. I remember being very interested in that game. Because you have, uh, like, a mushroom cap head, chunks of your brain yeah. get taken off, yeah. and it's very much like a pot. Yeah. So you that can you sense. can see his pulsating right. green little brain, right, right, but you're like, right. oh, God, I have no none left, so I'm about to die. Yeah. Very clear. It's not like some games where they just... Have um, a damage model. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. Like some tell. people uh, go, like you get some dirt on your face, and your guy looks tired. That means you're about to die. Like that's not clear. Yeah. But how did Fran end up a hermit in the woods? 